Hello and welcome to Dance Teachers Academy. I am your host, Jose on the mic, and with me as always is the lovely, amazing dancer of May. How are you doing? I am great this morning. How are you? We are doing fabulous. Uh, we, we find are. ourselves in Scottsdale, Scottsdale this week. Scottsdale, Arizona. And uh, yeah, and how hot is it? It's uh, all of it. I okay. can promise you that. Yes. Uh, we are also here with... Uh, a couple that actually needs no introduction. That's it's right. Bob and Julia. Bob and Julia, as most people know them. And that's Holly on. How Bob are you Powers kids doing? And Julia We're Powers. Good. Very good. Thank you. We had never done a podcast, so. It's a first time for everything. Yes, there's a the first time for everything. So I'm dancing right now. You can't see. <laughs> <laughs> You look beautiful this morning. We're here in your wonderful shop yes. with your designs. As a matter, as a matter of fact, one of her creations in the back town, and we uh, we thought it was just lovely to leave it there. Thanks. Yes, uh, that's my favorite color. Really? Mm-hmm. That yeah. looks. Well, that, that actually looks. Pretty darn good. <laughs> that's awesome. Yep. Now I can do whatever I want with my dresses. <laughs> there we go. Hey, did you do whatever you wanted with your dresses yeah, before? Yeah, okay. Much. <laughs> I was gonna say. You don't seem you don't seem the type to be held back for anything. <laughs> no. We were at a competition one time, and in between rounds, we got a little note from one of the judges that we know very very well, uh -huh. and he was doing us a favor. He thought, and he said, "I suggest you go change your costume." And we looked at that note and crumpled it up. And <laughs> off we went, uh, and off we go. Well, yeah. a we didn't have another costume. <laughs> Okay. I feel like he called me a chandelier. <laughs> Something like that. Really? That sounds like a compliment to me. They remember that one, though. I bet they did. Yeah. A hey. chandelier. Hey, it's to be remember, remembered is good. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> Absolutely. 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 So tell me a little bit about, you, you do all the designing? I do the designing. Yeah, I have about 15 girls working in the shop. I have several reps. And I have a couple other designers in the shop. I have Priscilla and Carmen. So... Uh -huh. Uh, they're helping me to come up with the different ideas. Otherwise, you know, you get sick of your own designs and uh -huh. get too too bored. Sure. It's so nice to have just people to bounce ideas off of. And yeah, it yeah. keeps it fresh. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I used to, you know, care, you know, we used to teach a lot, so I was really responsible for people's dancing. Now, I just dress them up, I prep them up, and whatever the hell they do on the dance yeah. floor, I don't care. So, <laughs> <laughs> Smack them on the butt and send them off. <laughs> off you go. <laughs> Do you, are you training any couples, though? No, I, I stopped teaching altogether. It's, um, really? You know, you just have to take one path or the other path. Well, okay, there's that. Teaching for a long time. And Unless sure. they're coming in to buy a dress. <laughs> then you'll do it. Okay. That'll, hey. that'll work. I'll show you a couple of dances. <laughs> I'll couple show you that proper, uh, what was that? Uh, proper cross-body cross lead. Yeah. 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 There we go. Cross-body lead straight into a fringe dress. There you go. <laughs> So, and you're real busy with your studio in Mesa? I am. Yeah. I have a North American studio in Mesa, and we have uh, uh, seven teachers working for us, and I've uh, been there eight, nine years now. Nine That's years. Great. Wow. That's great. Yeah. Longevity. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it goes by quick. <laughs> yes, it does. Like it. I thought we just got that studio yesterday. <laughs> I'm never there, so. Yeah, because you're always here. Yeah. <laughs> what, and you look so beautiful today. When we walked in the shop, you had just come out of teaching a core rhythms class, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to do something to stay in shape. Sure. You know, you just I hate it going to the gym. or I like yoga, but ultimately I need to be moving in the dance fashion. So Yes. <laughs> I get you. Yes, yeah, so I have a couple of my girlfriends. And you created core ry rhythms, right? We did. Yes. We did. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, several years ago it was very successful. It was on the major networks, on the infomercials. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, once it was over, it was over. It wasn't really our venue. It was really fun. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was really fun, and I feel like I taught myself to stay in shape by doing, Yes. you know, still right. dancing. Otherwise, I would be 300 You look pounds fabulous, by the way. You oh do God. look good. But you know what, Julie? Right? You've always been <laughs> fit. You've always been fit. I... I want to talk about um i brought this up to bob earlier and uh, when i was competing in american rhythm i competed at the same time you two did and our feeling was bob and julia are going to be here we get to be on the same floor as them but i, I remember that because i remember when uh usdc which used to be usbc mm -hmm. at the fountain blue and here you were about to run on the beach with your poodle Oh, yes. like so I was like, wow, she that's how you become a cha champion. You get up and run on the beach. Yeah, we used to run, do um, ballet. 
We hired the private ballet instructor, okay. Mrs. Roper, and uh, we did yoga. Well, I did yoga. He did running mostly, and then we practiced. You have to have a you know extracurriculum activities to stay in a good shape, not just practicing, because you get stagnant. Uh -huh. So you have to confuse your muscles. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, yoga, proper hip twist, uh, running. Just today, we're at it. So yeah. Years ago, I, I mean, I'm, I remember when we first came into business, it was guys, you know, chugging a beer and going out and dancing around. I mean, smoking that was between kind of, the rounds. Yeah, smoking between the rounds. I mean, <laughs> I remember that. that. I yeah. remember this most beautiful blonde lady in a standard dress, in, in, which is the most elegant costume, right, with the wings and everything. And sitting on the stairs like this, with a <laughs> cigarette. Oh. <laughs> but, <laughs> Until the music started. <laughs> now, I, I never smoked because I started smoking when I was young, and someone made fun of me and said I wasn't doing it right. So I said, "Never mind, then I'm not going to do it." Which is probably the best thing that yeah, ever happened. Yeah, best thing you did, you did, right? Yeah, I was like, okay. There was one guy that, that shall remain nameless. He'd get mad if they took his beer cans off the table because <laughs> he needed to keep track. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to count them. <laughs> yeah, everyone is. But I it's remember that like two today. of you were always very fit. Today people very, are serious, and they're, they're yeah. serious from a very young age. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we danced about the same amount of time, and, and we're 13 years different. So, I mean, it shows you that, you know, I started at 17, which was extremely young for, for my peers. Uh -huh. She started when she was like five or six years old. Yes. And today, they're, you know, it's, it's like that. They start off as kids. And if you don't start early enough, you don't get the, the techniques, you don't right. get the form. Oh, and that's like Bob's saying. I mean, they're, now everybody's into fitness and health and, yeah. uh, you know, taking their vitamins and eating right mm -hmm. and everything, not smoking. Yeah, everything, and, yeah. yeah. getting plenty of sleep. Who does that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, right now it's very, like, you, you look at the field and it's so physical. Yes. yes. Like, the choreography is so athletic. That's and, right. I mean, I just watched the United States Championship mm -hmm. last week on the live you know, face on the life feed. I was like, man, but that you know is what? amazing. I'm, see, so my thing is, she's the dancer. I'm, I'm not. I just married one. So I just, so just kind of got and into. And you stayed at the, the Holiday Inn yeah. Express. Yeah. 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 So I did, but I did stay at Holiday Inn Express. But um, do you think that uh, the the dancing that they're doing now, like you said, is very uh, athletic? Uh, does it take away from the actual um, grace that they that you know had the the, back in the artistry? Does it take out of that? I don't. Think so. I mean, I, I think between some of the different organizations, they claim that one's more uh, more artistic and the other one's more physical. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I, think I mean, I, are, if anybody would know, you guys would know. I think the couples are balancing it well today. They, are they? Yeah, that's good. They're so competitive out there that mm -hmm. you you have to have a good balance of, of basics and technique as well as um, interesting choreography and artistry. Okay. And, and that's been one of the arguments too. You know, people have been pushing to try and get it into the Olympics, but you know, if it becomes an Olympic sport, then is it going to become too athletic and, and all about sport and not about artistry? Sure. And and and, and I feel like ballroom dancing is something that can hold its own. It doesn't need to be in a group of sports or in a, in a, in a you know uh, with twenty or thirty other activities. It, it can stand alone. It's you know it's superior. I think mm -hmm. its own. That's a very good point. Yeah, very good. I didn't know they were good. trying to push it into the Olympics. I'll be honest with you. It's like they go are. on and off with that, right? Yeah, it, seems yeah, like it gets close and then mm -hmm. goes away. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, personally, I'd rather see it stand alone. It's its own thing and mm -hmm. let it evolve by itself. Sure. And everybody has such a different opinion, you know. Between the six couples in the final, you go, any, mini, money, more. I like her dress, <laughs> I like her hair, I like their technique. Right. It's a, what do you call it, subjectable? Subjective subject. Subjective. Yeah, so, yeah. So mm -hmm. Bob Hart, you know, he actually uh, shined his shoes that day, and so they give him extra points. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is one of the problems that I have with uh, with that, um, and with the Olympics, uh, the, uh, the the uh, ice skating, dancing. the ice dancing. I'm like, man, you get to that point, and you're like, uh, now you're splitting hairs. I'm like, yeah. mm -hmm. how do you take two tenths of a point off because you know he didn't have the you know ice shavings were just off a bit. You know, they yeah. didn't glisten in the yeah, air. Yeah, you're almost <laughs> expecting them to fall so you can go, oh well, he yeah, fell there we down. Go. So yeah, we're yeah. going to take away the points. Sure, yeah, a different day, different panel, could be different results. Exactly. Yep, absolutely, absolutely, very subjective. So, do you have a Advice for some people that are interested in really, you know, being a champion dancer and talk about maybe some things that you had to really overcome in order to get to where you did 12 times. 12 times? United My States goodness. champion, because 13 would be unlucky. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to fix that on, yeah, on the website. That was really hurting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think... Um, 
to be a champion, you have to have your own opinion and you have to have your own beliefs and you have to stick to it no matter what. I mean, one of the hardest things to not do is to kind of chase your tail. I mean, that article comes out and, and they're trashing you on this or a judge makes a comment about that and so you, you're constantly changing and adjusting and, and then you kind of lose yourself. You, mm. you forget what you're about. I think one of the best advice we ever got from our coach was go into a competition, dance, and leave. Don't stand around, oh. don't stand still. Because mm -hmm. if you do, everybody's gonna give you their opinion. And it's not that they're not right, it's you can't please everybody. Right. And you have to have that confidence in what you're doing. And, and it's funny, the first year we won the championship, I remember the first show, and our coach came up and he said, I've never seen you dance with, with that kind of confidence. And I thought, oh, we never won a US championship before. <laughs> <laughs> and, and from that point well, on, there's that. I just, I never looked back. And, and I remember this one lesson, we went in and we brought an article and we said, right there, the tunnels were too fast, were too powerful. And he, and he put the newspaper down and he started syncopating, double syncopating, everything. And at the end of the lesson he said, now you're too fast. In other words, stop listening to that crap. You come to me, you do what I say, not what that magazine says. Sure, mm. so, they don't they don't spend uh, you know the time with you. Yeah, yeah, so you'll they get they get to see, yeah they they get to see you for two or you know three four minutes whatever, and then you know here here's what you need to do for the rest of your life. No, <laughs> absolutely not. What you're good at and stick with it. and stick with it. Do Apparently, it worked it. for you. So yes, we take lessons. You know, copy somebody in the very beginning. It's great to copy somebody who you absolutely love, mm -hmm. and then eventually you will develop your own. You know your own style, your own, your own technique. Sure. But like you know, your little your kids. own identity. Yeah, but in the beginning, just find somebody you love, somebody you know who you want to copy. Mm -hmm. Bob and Julia. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good thing. That would be a good start. Thing. Yeah. Some. For some, yeah. There are those who loved us and those who hated us. Yeah, I remember Bob was teaching one lesson. We won't say who it is. And Bob was like, and you're going to do this and you're going to do that. And the girl just stands goes, I'm just not going to work that hard. I <laughs> Okay. <laughs> At least she was honest. Yeah. I respect that. At least she, that. you know what you got now. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. well. I don't have to put the time in now. I know, it was cute. <laughs> and I was teaching the lesson next year. I'm like, okay, well, let me see what he's going to say. <laughs> what did you say? Do you remember that? <laughs> no, I don't. Well, I do remember it, but <laughs> it just kind of took the wind out of my sails. Like, okay, so you're not really that serious. So, so you have to kind of adjust. I mean, not everybody wants to be a champion. Mm, a lot of people say yes. they do, but yeah, yeah. If you had a dollar for everybody that said they did, but they want retired. they want to stand on that podium with the medal. Yeah, they don't see the work in progress. Right. And I think you do really have to enjoy that day to day operations. Mm -hmm. You know, waking up. You know, structure your day around the practice time, mm -hmm. around your physical activity. You know, what are you going to do? Run, yoga, ballet, you know, structure that and then go, okay, well, I have a lesson <laughs> after that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And know maybe the best you ever dance in your life is going to be at nine o'clock in the morning in an empty room with only you looking in the mirror. I mean, you have to love that practice and, and want the dancing just to be as good as it possibly can, not chase a title or I just want to win. It's like Joey said, I think then they get caught up in that thing about the podium and, and they're always disappointed. We were always working on the dancing. How did it feel? How did it look? And, and it mattered more about that than the results. I mean, we were fortunate enough the results followed that. Sure. But, you know, is it a chicken or egg thing? What came first? I don't know. <laughs> a lot of couples, a lot of couples I see, they just had their first, you know, practices. They put their routines together. They go to a competition. They're like, well, we didn't make the semifinal. Go, that's your first competition. You have no idea how you dance. Oh, we dance really well. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. <laughs> so either you were standing there watching, you should have been dancing. <laughs> yeah. Very good point. Yeah. Stop to see what you're doing. No, yeah. keep dancing. <laughs> that's what a lot of the dancers we interview say, you know, why did we even start this? We have to find that love that we had when we first started. We would love to dance. That's why we're doing this. It's so easy to, to lose that. Yes. So you have to keep that love to dance. Yes. And you just have to know, you not every day is not going to be a good day. Most likely, it's not going to be a good day. <laughs> More often than not, it is. More yes. often than not, yeah, you're going to be in the slump or, you know, very little times where we walked off of the floor go, okay, we, you know, that felt great. You know, you walk off the floor go, oh, God damn it. <laughs> so I would just blew okay, the G rating of it. <laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 yeah, you walk off of the show and go, okay, you know, 
the next morning you're back to practice. Mm -hmm. You don't take a break. Mm -hmm. After your United State Championship, you don't take a break. You go back, you know, rehearsing, practicing, taking lessons, strategizing. Awesome. And that's that why you songs. were 12 times on, uh, you know, unbeaten. <laughs> Pretty simple. We well, you know it was so hard because about halfway through the year, in about uh, uh, December, you're like, well, maybe we should retire. And then you get ready for the championship. You know, by you know August, you're like in the top shape. You know, you've been running, yoga, practicing, rounds, doing the competitions. After USBC, you're like, I want to finish that. I mean, you're like in the best shape of your life, and, uh -huh. and so you keep going. About December, you go, well. <laughs> Start all over. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you lose the shape, but you know, yeah. you're ramping up Ohio Star Ball, you know, in November. Yeah. After Ohio, you're like, ah, oh, <laughs> shall we? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah why not? Right. Why not? <laughs> I love it. Outstanding. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to keep you kids uh, very long. I know you're very busy and you uh, have a shop to run. So, uh, Bob, Julia, thank you for uh, giving thank us our you time. So much. Oh, sure. Thank you, guys. That was that was really <laughs> fun. You can come out anytime. Thank you. Well, now thank we you. know where you are and uh, work on an elevator. You know. <laughs> We're trying. That was our UPS man said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm you sure guys come out. Like can come out anytime. I have some interesting personalities in my shop. Sure. Coming Great. out, trying yeah. dresses on some very interesting. I have uh, that's, reality that's her series. thing. I couldn't get a leg in oh, this. Yeah. Tell me about that. Uh, it's called Design Republic. TV and we did the five series. They're not very long. They're about, um, you, I think, 10, 15 minutes uh -huh. each, but it's, really? it talks about the couples, Design TV, Design Republic TV YouTube channel. So oh, right? okay. Yeah. I'll go ahead and it's scroll just, that across here uh, later on. So. That's cool. Yeah. It's uh, um, it's basically about the, you know, hardship of the couples. And I mm. didn't just, you know, I That's didn't just great. do That is cool. I know. I never can find a good stories about couples you know no, not the movie they always kind of sidetrack i think there's so much interest in uh, how people practice how they get dressed sure you, know, you don't take you don't have to go into their personal life mm -hmm. right right mm -hmm. so that that's what i did so it's quite interesting i made quite a few enemies <laughs> <laughs> i like the way she said that i made quite a few enemies <laughs> Bob says he's gonna have to move to, to <laughs> an, an island. An island. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, a friend of mine he, a couple of years ago said, "Oh, you guys should do a reality TV show." I said, "With my wife, the way she speaks, just <laughs> unfiltered, well, right. I'm gonna have to leave the United States and move to a little deserted island." Right. Sure enough, right. <laughs> there we have it. Always exciting, right? Always, always exciting. exciting. Yeah, always. we we'll always have to have a project. Sure, absolutely. So. Um, where people can get a hold of you, your website. ArthurMurrayMesa.com. Okay. Yeah. And Julia, Artistry in Motion. Designs.com. In, uh, mm, yeah, that's my website. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Basically, sorry. <laughs> you know, I never, I never uh, uh, Google myself. Because <laughs> like, you're here. You're always here. <laughs> I'm always here. Yeah, actually, if you go Artistry in Motion Designs.com. Designs. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. Perfect. All right, Beautiful kids, design. thank you for having thank us out. Sure, thank you. <laughs> the lovely Amay. Jose, thank you so much. Thank it's you. Been wonderful to be here in Scottsdale. <laughs> <laughs> She's awesome, man. All right, folks, this has been another episode of Dance Teachers Academy. Thank you for watching. <laughs>